What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some brand new content with Indigo this Pokemon for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of my favorite weather combos of all time, featuring one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. We got ourselves a Sandstream T-Tar team alongside with Sand Rush Extra Drill. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. This team right here was created by That's a Plus One. Gotta give a huge shout out to him. If you guys want to check out this team more in depth or grab you guys a Pokebase for a squad, make sure you head down the link in the description below and check out his channel. Considering the Indigo Disc just came out, so rental codes for Regulation F are very limited. They are definitely very limited. So huge shout out to him for bringing this rental code out for us and uh, letting us use it and actually showcase his team. Pretty cool team. We got a bunch of new Pokemon on it, so it looks amazing. You got two Cannon, Metagross, Flygon, Comfy, and then like I already mentioned, you got T-Tar and Extral. But that's what my main focus of today's video is going to be, T-Tar and Extral. Later on down the road, probably later on this month, we will showcase pretty much most Pokemon in Regulation F, so don't be worried. We're going to have a Metagross team ready to rock, Flygon ready to rock, all that good stuff. So that out the way, we can get started here with today's team preview, starting off with two Cannon. Very cool Pokemon generational bird from, uh, what is it, Sun and Moon, with Keen Eye and the Covert Cloak as its item. It's got Tailwind, it's got Smackdown, Knockoff, and Brave Bird for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be a Pokemon I think is going to take over the meta. It is going to be Metagross. Clear Body as its ability with Assault Vest as item. It's Rocket Ice Punch, EQ, Bullet Punch, and Medium Mash. Like I said, this Pokemon is a Stone Cold Stud. You're going to be seeing it a lot across the meta when Regulation F does get released. In our third slot is a Pokemon that I'm super excited to be showcasing, Sand Rush Extra Drill. With Choice Band as an item to make it hit as hard as possible, EQ, High Horsepower, Iron Head, and Rock Slide for his other moves. T-Tar is in our fourth slot to pair up perfectly with Extra Drill. It's got Sand Stream with the Weakness Policy, Dragon Terror type, which will actually come in clutch. If you want to proc Weakness Policy, we have Comfy on that side. And then you got a Protect, Power Gem, Snarl, and Dark Pulse for its moveset. In our fifth slot, we got Flygon over here, another Tailwind setter for the squad with Levitate and the Focus Sash as item. It's got Faint, EQ, and Draco Meteor for its other three moves. In our final slot, it's going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Comfy. Comfy is great for multiple different reasons. First reason is going to be Trick Room purposes. It can counter Trick Room, it can set up Trick Room, it can go from there. Second reason is it can proc weakness policy on T-Tar. If we Thrasilize into the Dragon type, we can pop a Drain and Kiss onto it and just proc that weakness policy. And final reason, it can heal up the squad with Floral Healing. Absolutely love this Pokemon. It's got the Triage ability, which makes healing moves go first. So moves like Drain and Kiss or Floral Healing will always go first with Comfy. Last but not least is its item. It's got Rocky Helmet. Great support Pokemons, Rock Rocky Helmet. And this is a great support Pokemon. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right-hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on the casual ladder. Look to showcase Sand Rush Extra Drill in Regulation F format. We're loading up our first match for today's video. And I'm looking for rental teams featuring new or returning Pokemon. So if you guys have rental teams or want to make rental teams, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below or do me one better. Head over to my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Either DM me or reply to one of my tweets I made regarding rental teams because again I need teams for YouTube videos and I'm super excited to be showcasing all different types of Pokemon but this first match is going to be a pain look at this what are we going up against we're going up against four Pokemon from meta of regulation E and then Kyogre and Shadow Rider Calyrex it's gonna get so annoying it's gonna get so annoying but I definitely want to lead a Pokemon that could potentially set up Tailwind and I think that's gonna be like two cannon I think Toucan is going to be great here. I also want to bring in like a, like a, a weather control Pokemon. And that would be T-Tar. That would be T-Tar. I also want to bring in somebody who can potentially just like protect. I mean, I could go Flygon here just for Focus Ash reasons. And I kind of like that. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to go into T-Tar here for the lead. Do I want to go T-Tar here for the lead? Maybe. I don't know. It's tough. I got Vest on you. I do have Vest on Metagross, and I'm going to lead Metagross, and I'm going to bring T-Tar and Extra in the back end. This one's going to be tough, but if I could pull this off in match number one, that'd be amazing, especially if we're using Extra Drill and T-Tar. would be really, really cool. So we'll see who they lead. We're kind of hoping they lead Kyogre. A little bit, but not really, right? A little bit, but not really. If they lead Kyogre and Shadow Rider Calyrex, I'd be so upset. I really would be, but they have two ways of weather control. They got Kyogre, and they also have Tornado, who can pop a Rain Dance. 
They're gonna end up leading these two. Okay, so Metagross and Flygon come out here. Um, I can't Bullet Punch. Kind of sucks. I do have Focus Dash, which is awesome. And I think from here, we just pop a Tailwind, right? We have Focus Dash. We might as well use it. There's no need to pop a uh, a Terror type. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go for a Meteor Mash into the slot. He could go for Follow Me. He could not. I mean, again, we have Focus Ash and we have a Seal type Pokemon on the field. So, if you want to go for Dazzling Gleam, be my guest. Rather go for Moon Blast so you don't do any damage to my Metagross, but we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. So there's the Follow Me. That's fine. So, he's going to go for Follow Me and some type of Fairy Moon. That's no big deal for us because we will get off this Tailwind, which is pretty massive. Actually, go for Shadow Ball. We eat, though. We eat, though. That's big time eats. Tailwind comes out and about, so we, we eat that up. Surprise you went for Shadow Ball over the Fairy Moon. Meteor Mash is now going to fly. Do you want some nice damage on I will take some Rock Hammer damage. Rather annoying. And from here, we will just try to double down into what's it called, right? We will just try to double down into, into Flutter Moon, who probably still outspeeds us, right? Flutter Moon's so fast. It's ridiculous. Wish I could just bullet punch you, but of course indeed he's on the field. Of course indeed he's on the field. So another follow me comes out here from Ndidi, just protecting the uh, the Flutter Moon, which is a smart move. Flygon's gonna go first. Can we just KO? We don't. We get a crit and we don't KO. It's so upsetting. Is that Meteor Mash can come out here and you dodge it? Oh my lord. You dodge it. You dodge that. Okay. I feel you. I understand. I understand. Really hurts soul though. Really does hurt soul. Um, I could go into you. I wish I had double hitting moves. I mean, I do. I have Snarl. But I really want to just save you, right? I really want to save you. And you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to choice into EQ. I'm going to choice into EQ. And I am just going to go into a nice little earth power here. So I'm just going to earth power here. I'm going to terrasize and I'm choicing into EQ. I'm looking to do as much damage as I possibly can here. Flygon's got levity. I do have protect on the T-Tar. So EQ could definitely come in clutch later in the match. Uh, Terrasse Slice, the lovely little extra drill. Round Terror type, Choice Band. Looking to get after it. Looking to get after it, my boy. My boy, Follow Me comes out here. And I should be able to just pick up Double KO here, right? Actually, are you Sash? No, you're, you're uh, Boost Energy. This should KO you. This should KO you, Flutter. This should KO you, right? I'm hoping it does. This be a big time KO flash. And it does. Extra drill coming in clutch. So now they're forced to throw out their next two Pokemon. And if one of them is Weather Kyogre, I can just hard swap Flygon into into Sand, Sand Rush. Yep. Okay, so Kyogre comes out. Is this going to be Calyrex as well? I get real ugly. It is going to be Calyrex. That's so annoying. Never seen something more annoying. Never. Not once. Not once. So Rain is here. I'm hard swap Flygon here into T-Tar. And I'm just going to pop EQ. I have to pop EQ. I understand that I'm going to hit my T-Tar here. But I just think it's their play to... Uh... Do I do I change weather here? I don't have to, but I feel like I got it, right? Because if not, then extra just gets absolutely ripped on. All right, so we're changing weather. We're looking for some big time damage with the EQ. Up against Kyogre, up against Calyrex. I don't know if, we, I don't think we can one shot him. This would be a tough match to lose though, right? I'd be upset if we lose this one. And of course they protect Calyrex. Don't double protect. Oh my lord, they double protect. They double protect, but but my extra drill is still fast on the field. Extra drill still should be fast on the field. They double protect, and I'm just hitting up on my T-Tar at this point. Lovely. Just what I wanted. And I just KO my T-Tar. 
<laughs> just KO my Ditar. Double protect the waste out the tailwind. I mean, we have weather. We're still really kind of just sitting here hoping that I could pick up a double KO here, right? That's really what it comes down to. Because, again, let me see your speed. You should be faster than Calyrex. Calyrex is fast. He's in, like, the 200s. But, Sand Rush, you're, you're at two. You're sitting double speed right there. 242. Now I'm forced to bring back out you. Wow, I didn't even have to bring out the T-Tar in that turn. But I actually kind of like it because if Calyrex is Sash, which a lot of them are, it's going to be really nice. But I'm going to go here and Jericho Meteor into that, and I'm popping EQ. Come on, x -Drill. Get work done, man. Get work done. And we're going to see a Terror type come out here. This is scary. It's going to be Kyogre. What type you got? Don't be flying. Why you got grass? Why do you have grass? I guess for this purpose, but it just... Oh my lord, you have grass, Terra-type? So annoying. So annoying. We're popping EQ still. Can this KO Calyrex? It does KO Calyrex. That's some nice damage. That's some nice damage. Can Flygon get a turn here? Flygon outspeeds. And we should be fine here unless he picks up a double KO, right? Origin Pulse. That's going to pick up double KO. Yep, of course. Of course. So, not a bad first match. I mean, Exodrill absolutely thriving out here. We pretty much lost to two Pokemon that are going to be banned in the next season. Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Kyogre. But hey, I'll take that as a good little showcase. We start off 0-1. Let's go hop into our second match and try not facing Legendaries. Moving on to our second match, still facing Legendaries, but pretty cool team. They got Lucario, they got Darkrai, Skelly Dirge, Meowskarada, Shen Pao, and is that Maridon or Karidon? I kind of forget, the electric one, I would just call it. But this just screams, yo, let's get weather control going. This team screams weather control, right? They have no way of controlling it. We have great Pokemon with great typing. They have no Intimidate Pokemon, which will work well for us. They do have a fake out user. Wait, is Meowskarada a fake out user? I think it is, right? I actually kind of forget, but I think Extra Titar is just such a solid lead. So I'm going to go in with both of them. And then in the back end, I could go Confi. I kind of like Confi for support. Plus, it's super effective onto a few of these guys with Drain and Kiss. I'm going to go Confi. And then last but not least, got to bring in the Metagross, right? Got to bring in the Metagross. Nice little bullet punch late game. Could really help us out tremendously. So that is going to be my lead. That is going to be my lead. So we'll see who they want to lead. I do have a few good moves with Extra Drill. That I can choice into, a lot of them being stabbed with either EQ, high horsepower, or iron hit. And then we got a nice little coverage move with the rock side, which is always good. Always lovely. But Dark Rye and Lucario come out here. Dark Rizzle and Lucar Rizzle come out here. Which is fine. I mean, I don't mind it too much. I think I could just choice to a high horsepower here, which is probably my best bet, right? Go after Lucario. And then maybe just protect the Titar at this point. I could go Terra EQ. I could go Terra EQ. I could go Terra EQ. Kind of want to. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I'll just KO myself. So I'm just going to play this one smart. I'm just going to go nice little high horsepower in you. And I'm just going to protect the T Tar here. I feel like Lucario has a hot shot and just like close combating T Tar here. So let's just protect just in case this thing's sashed. And it's not sashed. So we just get rid of it. We just say, Ayo, Lucario, get on out my house. This extra drill's hitting like a truck into this video. Didn't go for Shadow Ball, and that protect was waste. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, yeah, that protect, absolute waste of my time. I do get some buff of damage, which is nice. Dark Rai is just chilling there. And I think Dark Rai has one of the coolest designs ever. It just looks so dope. It really does. And I'm going into their next Pokemon, which is going to be Shen Pao. The good thing is Shen Pao will take some damage here. I am going to go... I'm going to go after the Shen Pao. He just seems like a bigger threat than me right now. I'm going to high horsepower in the Shen Pao. And I'm just going to go for a nice little power gem. So out comes the Terror type. This has got to be Shen Pao, right? Trying to get away from the rock typing. No, it's Darkrai. Darkrai going to go straight dark. Looking just to do some damage. Looking to do some damage. Dark, dark ride right here. Dark Terror, dark ride. High horsepower still outspeeding. 
We are just KO in Pokemon. Yo, this thing hitting like a truck. He's hitting like a truck. Darkrai's gonna rip a Dark Pulse now. Probably go you know, after my X Drill. Can he soak this? The luck. The lovely luck. We'll take that all day. We'll take that all day. That's massive. That is massive surviving on one. I was not expecting that. I'll take it, yo. X Drill surviving on one. And we're still having a match number two. Mariah now comes out here. They don't have Terror type, so I'm gonna say bye bye to you. I'm gonna say bye bye to you. I'm gonna say bye bye to you. High horsepower. We're sticking with that. High horsepower. We're power jumping into Dark Ride. And again, just thriving in today's video. Match number one was well, tough because of the Kyogre, but Extra Drill's just taking over here. He's just taking over. Speed, one shot, and everything. We're super effective onto pretty much everything here. And now comes out the Dark Pulse, and he's gonna leave my boy alone. Cool. So we'll sweep match number two. Nice little casual ladder sweep. Actually, we'll just lighten it up. Lighten up. Let's go hop into a third. Look to have a better battle. Final match on its way, and we're going up against the GOAT of Pokemon Double Battles. We're going up against Incineroar in the final match. Definitely a Pokemon that I want to showcase as soon as possible, because this is gonna be one of the best Pokemon. In double battles always has been probably always will be it's just so good typing wise move set wise now with terror type it's just awesome it's just awesome all around but they also have metagross just like us and sinistra tornadus um not tornadus uh Landorus, sylveon and urshifu so something that i noticed here is we could take weather control right off the rip but the problem would be is if they lead incineroar incineroar is just a huge threat all around right it's just such a big threat being able to fake out and intimidate in pretty much the same turn. It's just rough. It definitely is rough for us. Um, but I could go two can here. Two can is not bad, especially with the cover cloak, and we can set up tailwind. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna go two can here. I definitely want some speed control, and I might just go comfy. No, I'm just gonna go metagross here. I think metagross could be solid all around. So I'll go metagross here. I will go in with two can it, and then I'm just gonna bring sand rush squad in the back. Correct? Best bet, probably, right? Yeah, I like. I definitely like another Pokemon that we have to watch out for is going to be Urshifu. Those water moves could be doing us dirty. Maybe I should have brought Comfy in the back end, but I definitely want to try to set up Tailwind just to get some speed control for the squad. For Pokemon like Metagross, for Pokemon like Titar. Could be good. So let's see if they lead Incineroar. I kind of want to see it happen because Incineroar is just awesome. And yeah, there it is. Incineroar coming out alongside with Urshifu. Urshifu definitely a threat. He's going to intimidate us. We got Clear Body, which is awesome. I'm gonna set up the tailwind here. Um, do I terrestrialize and flying? No, I don't think so. And from here, just pop the EQ. Yeah, I think we pop the EQ. I think we pop the EQ. They could Terra maybe. I would think Incineroar probably rocks like a Terra type to dodge. Maybe like water and ground moves, which would be like ass. But I don't really know. I haven't really seen too much Incineroar. But EQ is gonna fly here. We get off the tailwind, which is massive. And that's some nice damage. That's some nice damage. Of course, this thing's rocking Citrus Berry. This is a perfect little item for Incineroar. So perfect. So Surgeon Strike's gonna come through here. Two cannon. Might be able to soak that? No, that one did more damage than the last one. That's a high roll. So upsetting. So upsetting. If they did the same amount of damage as the first one did, we would have been thriving there. We would have been thriving. So he takes me out, I guess, for a temper flare. You should be able to soak this many right? Yeah, you soak that all day. So big time soaks come out from you. Um Guitar could be the play. Same thing with Excadrill. Same thing with Excadrill. What do I do here? I really want to go after what's it called. This is tough. This is tough. I really want to go after Urshville. I am gonna go after Urshfu here. I'm going right after Urshfu. I'm gonna try to slice ground here. I'm gonna tear ground. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to KO this Urshfu. Not EQ, not EQ. I'm gonna try to slice ground. We're gonna go high horsepower here. So we have tail went up. So speed's already our friend. Speed is already our friend. Um. I'm gonna try to boost my attack with the Meteor Mash. Actually, I'll double down on Urshifu, just in case this, this doesn't KO. It ends up withdrawing there. 
That's fine. We're doubling down into this thing anyway, and Lando's gonna come out here. So if we KO Urshfu here, he can just he can just pop back with what's called, which can be tough. He can pop back with Incineroar, which can just intimidate me. Plus, I'm choosing into this ground move with a flying type Pokemon now on the field. Oh no! Any detects? Bruh. I do have I do have Ice Punch. I don't know if he's ready for Ice Punch. I do not know if he's ready for Ice Punch on Metagross. Which could be massive. Ice Punch on Metagross could be massive. Four times super effective. Could be big time. So I'm going to stick with this high horsepower. We should have another turn left in the tail. We have another two turns left in the tail. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to throw an Ice Punch this way as well. As long as he doesn't terror here, I think we have a hot chance of picking up a double KO. Extra drill hits like a truck. He's gonna aqua jet me, which I should soak. I do. Massive. I do soak and high horsepower gonna come out here. It should KO you, right? You should be gone. Yeah, I'm hitting hard. I'm hitting hard. I'm hitting hard. And then ice punch, four times super effective. Should KO you. Should KO you all day, right? Awesome. Awesome. Dope. Cool. So big time double KO, they're forced to bring back out Incineroar. And the problem here is, now he has Fake Out ready to rock. Now he has Fake Out ready to go. He still has Terra, something we gotta watch out for. And from here, Sylveon comes out here. Now he gonna Fake Out, and what else are you gonna do here? Cause something I could see happening is a Terra I am choice in the high horsepower, so do I just go after Incineroar with this? Most likely, right? Since we already have speed, we might as well go in here. Yeah, we'll Meteor Mash. We shall Meteor Mash. I wonder what he's going to do. He has Fake Out, he has Sylveon on the field. Hyper Voice could KO just my Extra Drill. But he would have to Fake Out Extra Drill in order to kind of get that off. But now it's the Terror types going to come out here. And that's going to go into Sylveon. The Sylveon gets the Terror type, and it's going to go straight to fire. Straight fire. So I do have high horsepower and power gem to kind of deal with that. I have Titar in the back end still. And he's going to fake out my Extra Drill. So Extra Drill takes the fake out. And Meteor Mash is still coming through here. Dealing a little bit of damage. And we'll see what Sylveon wants to do here. You go for Hyper Voice. That should leave Metagross on the field, which it does. So Metagross still here. Still ready to go. <clears throat> but I don't know how good this is looking. My tailwind's gone. My tailwind is gone. Not my tailwind. And I really want to EQ. I really want to EQ. I go for power gem here. Who do I take out? I probably, I probably have to go after Sylveon first and foremost. So I'll do that. And do I go for an EQ? I would have to protect more so, but like Incineroar's coming after me, so I might just want to like bullet punch him and do as much damage as I can. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a bullet punch here. How much damage is doing? Five? About five. <laughs> and Power Gem does come out here. This should KO, right? It does not! You don't KO Sylveon there! That's tough. That's gonna be game. That's gonna be game. Unless. Unless. Cause I do outspeed him. Unless you leave my T-Tar on the field. Unless for some reason you leave my T-Tar on the field. I think you just did. I think you just left T-Tar on the field. Can two Buffets KO? Can two Buffets KO the Sylveon? No, it does not. That's rough. That's so rough. I would have to KO Sylveon here. This is brutal. I'm gonna go for another protect here. This is brutal, but what a good match so far. I mean, what move are you going into? I see, I know Hyper Voice is out here. But the real question is, can this Incineroar KO me with that throw chop? I don't think it can. think it can because right now I'm out speeding there's no way Sylveon protects you right 
There's no way Sylveon protects. I'm gonna go into this. Power Gem's gonna come out here. I'm gonna finish off the Sylveon. I just need to eat up this shot. I just need to eat up this shot. Come on. Come on, Titar. Need you here, dog. I need you here. I need you eating up this shot. You can win this game. If you eat up this shot. Rochop coming out here. All day, yo. Incineroar. Get on out of here. Get on out of here, Incineroar. Tired of dealing with you. Battle was canceled. There it is. Two and one winning record. Rocking out with Titar and Extral all day long. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one winning record showcasing extra drill in today's video. Had a lot of fun with this team showcasing all these Pokemon. But again, I want to focus down on extra drill, considering it is a brand new Pokemon and one of my favorites of all time. We will definitely be featuring Metagross, Toucan, and all those guys that we didn't really get to showcase too much in today's video in another video. But I want to give one last huge shout out to That's Plus One for making this team so quickly and making it a rental code for the pokemon community but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody